Every day, we're swarmed with headlines of crimes and tragedies all around us. Our own neighborhoods struck by darkness. We begin with breaking news as we come on the air in the West tonight, a wildfire burning in San Bernardino County, east of Los Angeles. We're following breaking news out of Los Angeles where a gunman is barricaded inside a Trader Joe's grocery store, possibly with hostages, an unknown number of people according to the LAPD. California governor now declaring a state of emergency. But in a world of darkness, there's great opportunity. An opportunity to be bold. Being bold means taking charge, standing out. It means being a light for others in our community. And tonight, we challenge you to be bold as we take a look at some UCA students and alumni who have made their own choice to be bold. My name is Brittany Prue, and I graduated in 2008. I've been raised in two different homes growing up, and that has highly contributed to where I am today. And I went to private Christian school my whole life. UCA contributed highly to that. Um, they motivated me, encouraged me, and that um, helped me go on to further education. So I met my husband in high school at UCA, and we ended up furthering our education, both doing psychology and doing our bachelor's and our master's. Um, and now we both thoroughly enjoy working with children and adolescents and teens. In this room, I do a lot of play. I have puppets behind me, which helps a lot with social socialization and just learning how to communicate and even providing a space where a kid or a teen can yell if they want to yell. What do you got to get out that's stuck inside of you and how can we work through that in this space so then maybe when you're out at school you know you're not getting in trouble as much or you're able to communicate oh I feel really sad today and just it's a space it's a safe space it's where kids can be themselves and they don't have to feel judged by an adult which I think a lot of the times kids do feel judged and confused and don't know, really know how to share or feel safe to share, but here they can share. I am thankful for what I have experienced at UCA 15 years ago. It's where I grew up, it's where I gained a lot of my insight and my growth. Um, I love being able to give back to an organization that I firmly believe in, and now I'm so thankful that God is using me in a way where I can be a part of that change and a part of helping somebody else I, I love that UCA is being proactive with resources that could possibly help change the whole dynamic of the way students relate to one another and the way they, they grow throughout their time at UCA. My name is Sophia Diaz and I'm in eighth grade here at UCA. When I first became a Christian, um, it was around the third or fourth grade because that was in my Bible class when it was a lot more than just going through the workbooks, but it was really learning and registering in my mind that someone died such a painful death to save my life, to make me free of sin. This really meant something to me because in my heart I really appreciated it. Um, I would not be living the life that I'm living today, living for the Lord. UCA has really impacted me and helped shape me because beforehand, you know, even though I was still little, I was only in kindergarten and didn't know much about the Lord. But now, growing up and under this atmosphere and the environment with such friendly people and nice people who I know care for me, it's just helped me to grow for love for people and love for the Lord, just loving to talk and communicate and do things like this. Um, I have been able to be there for others when they were in need of help. Like for example, I have a friend who used to come here, but they no longer go here. And she went through um, a really heartbreaking time where her great aunt passed away. And she was just, her whole family was really impacted by that because she, like me, had a very close relationship with her family. She spent so much time in the hospital and I know that I was just there and I allowed her to feel hopeful for what was going to happen. I just wanted her to know that when she's around me, she can express how she felt. And so I just told her that prayer was one of the main things that she can do to really just 
not only be confident of what's going to happen with her aunt, but she can come closer to the Lord and build a relationship where they can talk all the time. You would never want to go through things alone. I know that people who may act tough on the outside are really soft on the inside, and I think without even a mom or dad or just a friend to talk to here and there, just to text, maybe while you're at work or even just at school, that I can just be a helping hand and hang out with them for the day, hang out with them forever, maybe build a friendship with them and just help them stay strong and ask them if they're praying because to me prayer is such a strong thing that will help us get through many, many things. So for them to have that relationship with God and anyone in the world through prayer, I know that things will get better. Things will always get better.